Thursday, May 30, the three angels' messages. In Revelation 14, 7, the first angel cries with a loud voice, Fear God and give glory to him, for the hour of his judgment has come, and worship him who made heaven and earth, the sea and springs of water. Heaven's appeal is for us to give our supreme allegiance and heartfelt worship to the Creator, in light of impending judgment. The second angel declares in Revelation 14.8, Babylon is fallen, is fallen, that great city, because she has made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. Babylon represents a fallen apostate religious system that has rejected the message of the first angel in favour of a false system of worship. That's why Revelation fourteen nine to 11 warns against worshipping the beast and his image. Two opposing choices are presented here, worship of the Creator or worship of the beast. Every person on planet Earth will make their final irrevocable decision over who has their total allegiance, Jesus or Satan. Read Revelation 14, verse 12. What are the two identifying characteristics of those who refuse to worship the beast? Why are both vitally important? Revelation 14, 12. This calls for patient endurance on the part of the people of God who keep his commands and remain faithful to Jesus. God will have an end-time people who are loyal to him in the face of the greatest opposition and fiercest persecution in the history of the world. Through the gift of Christ's righteousness, they will live grace-filled, obedient lives. Worshipping the Creator stands in direct opposition to worshipping the beast and is expressed in keeping the commandments of God. This final conflict over allegiance to Christ or allegiance to the beast power centres in worship, and at the heart of this great controversy between good and evil is the Sabbath. These committed followers of the Saviour will not only have faith in Jesus, but will also have the faith of Jesus. The faith of Jesus is a faith so deep so trusting, so committed, that all the demons in hell and all the trials on earth cannot shake it. It is a faith that trusts when it cannot see, believes when it cannot reason why, and hopes when it cannot understand. This faith of Jesus is itself a gift we receive by faith. It will carry us through the crisis ahead. When the final crisis breaks and we face an economic boycott, persecution, imprisonment and death itself, the faith of Jesus will carry us through earth's final hours until Jesus returns. And so to finish today, how is God preparing your faith today for what is coming in the future? This lesson was read by Dr. Percy Harold for Christian Services for the Blind. Sponsored by the Sabbath School Department and distributed through Hope Channel Australia, this podcast is also redistributed by Hope Channel Germany, Christian Record Services for the Blind. It is also available on SoundCloud and through multiple podcast distributors, including Apple iTunes. And you can listen and watch at the same time on YouTube. Remember, God is always faithful.